Welcome to Hungry Birds. In this lesson I'm learning to use addition and subtraction to work out fractions of a set. Well, over here you can see I've got 22 blocks, and I want to share those 22 blocks between two people, so I'm trying to work out what half of these 22 would be. So I can record that like this. What is half of 22? Well, I'm not quite sure what half of 22 would be, so I'm going to see if I can use my repeated addition facts to help me. Well, I know that 10 plus 10 equals 20, so that would be a good place to start. Give each person 10 blocks. And down here a little bit, I've written person 1 and person 2, and now I'm going to give each of those people 10 blocks. So there are 10 blocks for person 1, and 10 blocks for person 2. Now you can see that that leaves me with just two blocks up here, so it's easy for me to split those up. I'm going to give one block to person 1, and one block to person 2. So you can see each person got 10 blocks, and then one more block, so in total they got 11 blocks. So half of 22 is 11. Let's try another question where we can use our repeated addition facts. Well, here I've got 24 blocks, but this time I want to uh, share those 24 blocks between four people. So I'm splitting this amount into four groups, so I can record that like this. I'm trying to find one quarter of the 24 blocks. Well, just like last time, I'm going to see if I can use my skip counting skills to help me answer this question. Now, I'm good at skip counting in twos, and I'm good at skip counting in fives, and I'm good at skip counting in tens. And my denominator tells me I'm going to need to make four jumps. Well, if I jump up in twos, I'm not going to jump anywhere near 24. I'll be much too low. And if I jump up in tens, I'm going to be much too high. So I'm going to try jumping up in fives. So I can go 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. So those are my four jumps. Now 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15, plus another 5. That equals 20. So it's not quite the 24 that we've got that we do have to share out, but it's a pretty good start. So I'm going to start by sharing out five blocks to each of these people. There's five blocks for person one, five for person two, five for person three, and five for person four. And you can see that leaves me with four more blocks to share out, which is going to be very easy. I've got four blocks, I need to share them between four people, so I'm going to give one block to each person. So person one gets one more, person two gets one more, person three gets one more, and person four gets one more. So you can see that at the start, we gave everyone five blocks, and then we gave them one more. So everyone has got 6 blocks. So 1 quarter of 24 is 6. Let's try one more question, but this time we're not going to use any materials. <clears throat> this time I've got 18 blocks, and I want to share them between 6 people. So I'm trying to find what 1 sixth of 18 is. Now we said before that I'm good at skip counting in twos, I'm good at skip counting in fives, and I'm good at skip counting in tens. So now I need to decide which one of these should I try skip counting in. Well, I need to take six jumps, and I want to get to 18. So if I choose to jump up in fives or tens, I'm going to go far too far past 18. So I'm going to choose to skip count in twos. So I'm going to share two blocks, We'll give two blocks to every person. 
Now let's work out how much we've given out so far. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. So I've shared out 12, but I need to share out 18. So that means I must have 6 more blocks to share out, and I know that because 12 plus 6 equals 18. Well it's easy for me to share 6 blocks between these 6 people, it just means I'm going to have to give everyone 1 more block. So you can see everyone got 2 blocks, then they got 1 more block, so in total they all got 3 blocks. So 1 sixth of 18 is 3. I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.